followed your intuition, made a decision, calculated specific plans, and then all of a sudden they all fall apart. It's frustrating. It's it's confusing. It makes you wonder, can I follow my intuition? Can I trust myself? Did, could I, was this even my intuition in the first place? Well, today we're going to talk about how to start to parse these energies out. How often it isn't your intuition not working, but a chance for redirection and a place to train our ego intellect. And I know this to be too, because just recently I myself came up with a plan directed by my intuition. I was going to do my workshop on August 21st, the fastest way to uncomplicate your life, which now I'm moving to September 12th. And I had had all of this stuff around my plan. And then the plan slowly fell apart. And that plan rippled into every single aspect and space in my life. The plans were out the window. And what I found was that my ego intellect was not happy about it. It was frustrated. It was upset. It ruminated. It wanted to figure it out. And also, it not only didn't give me any choice, any place to move forward, but kept me stuck. So the moment that I asked instead, what does my spirit say? Aside from all of this frustration of all of this annoyance, what does my spirit, what does my intuition say? Intuition said, let go and refind your flow. Now that for my ego intellect, the part that really likes to plan, that likes things the way that they are, did not like that. But instead I had a choice to take a breath and use this as an invitation from my spirit and my intuition to lead me into something new, into something different. Now, when you have a plan, when you decide that you're gonna do something and maybe even we're intuitively guided to that moment, what happens is that our minds can get really attached to what is. It likes predictability, it likes control, it likes to feel like it's in the driver's seat. And when life lifes and we're not in the driver's seat, we recognize that we're just a passenger, sometimes white knuckling our way through, sometimes co-captaining. Our human parts don't like that. Our head does not like that. Our intellect does not like that. And often the way that it wants to make sense is to come up with stories, to ruminate, to get frustrated, to tell the same stories. This always happens to me. I can never have a plan. This always blah, blah, blah. So first and foremost, just notice how hard it is to invite yourself to pivot when things don't go according to plan. Intuition is flexible, it's changeable. It will ask you to do something different. And often that's really what our human parts do not want to do the most. It's like, no, I like it here. I like my seat, I like my plan. But the more flexible that we can be, the more that we can go with the flow, the more that we can tune in and even ask our intuition, is this true? Is this in my highest good? Is this, does this feel right? Does this feel right? Then we can take a breath and have a new decision. For example, myself, when I tuned into my intuition, when I tuned into my plan that I had, when I actually checked in, it was a good plan, but it wasn't a true plan. It had me rushed, it had me overwhelmed. It didn't actually feel good. And I was so attached to it that I couldn't think of any, I didn't have opportunity or solution for anything else. I didn't wanna be flexible. I made the plan. The moment that I tuned in, I was like, this does not feel good. I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to pivot and do something different. Then all of a sudden things started to come in. We started to find that flow again. So one, notice how attached are you to the way that you want it is. Second, when things don't go according to plan, instead of going to our hat, to the story, take a moment and go into your intuition and your spirit. Is that true? If I can practice being flexible, can I open into a new redirection? Three, when things don't go according to plan, our human parts are disappointed. Of course, I was disappointed. It's natural to be disappointed. And when we don't feel our feelings, meaning that not paying attention to the sensations in our bodies that are telling us what's important, we go to our head. So pause, take a moment, scan from head to toe and be curious about where your body is speaking to you. Then use your attention to just focus on the sensation that is emotion. When I'm disappointed, I feel it in my jaw, I feel it in my chest, I feel it in my gut and I can just Hold that space at attention, the emotion, 
moves and gets us out of rumination that our ego intellect really loves and disconnects us and gets us into stories that gets us stuck. And then last, that's where we start to make a decision. If I were to tune into my intuition right now, what is one decision that I can make to pivot? And can I open up into some curiosity that maybe this will be a redirection better than I can even imagine. Then we can start to collaborate with our spirit, honor our feelings, our disappointment, what is, and then instead of getting stuck, do and allow spirit, your intuition to move you because you're movable, you're guidable. So this week, as I was saying, just notice how flexible can you be? How flexible can you be when things don't go according to plan? It might be a big plan like this, or it might be a plan like dinner, or it might be somebody goes grocery shopping and gets the wrong thing. How flexible can we practice being? And notice the more flexible we can be, the more that we can refine flow when things don't go according to plan. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, also, hi, I'm Sonia. I'm a fourth generation intuitive. If you're brand new here, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you want more tools on how to really just simplify your life, connect to your intuition, come to my workshop. It's now a new date, September 12th for $10 at 6 p.m. The fastest way to uncomplicate your life. You can find all the info and show notes. Come visit me and tell me how far do you get off kilter when things don't go according to plan. And do you have any of your favorite practices to get back into alignment? I would love to hear from you. So I hope this video helped and I will see you next week. Sending you all my love. Bye.